you want to know which Eisenhower dollars to look for from 1971 to 1978, the ones that are worth the money, the ones that you need to be looking for whenever you're searching your Eisenhower dollars, then you need to watch this video. I'm going to cover each date and mint and the variety for those. And we're also going to talk a little bit of details about the Eisenhower dollar series. So stay tuned. Here's my coin shop website, porchmouthcoinshop.com. So on the website here, I do have gold coins and all gold and silver bullion is tested. We test it before we sell it, so it's guaranteed. I've added more Morgan dollars. I've added, like I said, mint sets, and we've got some proof sets and more things to come. So you get a chance, visit PortsmouthCoinShop.com. So now we're going to talk about the Eisenhower dollars. Okay, first off, we need to know from 1971 to 1978, the U.S. Mint minted Eisenhower dollars. They released clad Eisenhower dollars in proof sets, and this is what they look like. They come with a black box, and they're in plastic and these tore very easily, very hard to find them in pristine condition. They were released in 75 and 76 with type 1 and type 2 reverse. So the type 1 is the bold letters. The letters are real blocky. They're, you know, not really, they're kind of thicker. And then you have the type 2, which is the thin letters. And that's how you identify those two differences. And they also came in the 1975 and 76 mint sets, P and D, okay? And the 75, obviously, type 1 and the type 2 is the 76. And then of course they release them in circulation. You have the 71 plane and the 71D. Your clad proofs and your silver uh, Eisenhower dollars are s mints. Okay, so the thing about that is that if you think you have something that's different, like no mint mark is normal, okay? Uh, they didn't have a mint mark on them. Uh, no coin had a mint mark from the Philadelphia Mint until 1979, and the, and the Susan B. Anthony dollar was the first. Now, I'm not including the war nickel. Obviously, the war nickel did have a P on it, but we're talking about modern coins. And then after that, in, in uh, 1980, all other coin series followed with a P mint mark, except for the Lincoln Cent. So, I'm not going to get into that, but I also want you to know, that if you come over here to, this is my website, you can see that a clad Eisenhower dollar is 22.7 grams. If it's silver, it will weigh 24.6 grams. Now, you don't always see on the edge the fact that there's a copper and a silver layer, okay? The weight is the best way to tell. So, this is what they did. So, you've got the proof Eisenhower dollar that is silver, and this one right here is what it came in. Now, it came in uh, like a box, and some of it had styrofoam and all that, but you've got your... 40% uh, proof, and I showed you the clad, so that, the clad came in the black box. Then you had another proof, which we call the brown Ike, okay? And the brown Ikes were proofs that were silver, 40%, and they came in here, 1971 up to 1974, okay? And obviously, I want to say this is the bicentennial year, these two, and this is the last year of the silver Ikes, but right here, is what they came in and they were really what you call an SMS as far as that's concerned and they are 40% planchets. Then you have what they call the Blue Ikes, okay? 1971 to 1974, they have the S mint mark and this is what they look like here, okay? So that's why they call them the Blue Ikes. Now you can put together a really decent collection, complete collection of Eisenhower dollars for, you know, a couple hundred dollars or so, up to 300 maybe. Sometimes you can get them cheaper than that. Depends on how you buy. You know, if you go out and you buy them raw, sometimes you're going to pay more for them. If you, you sometimes you get a lot. But here's a complete collection that I have here. And you know, like I said, they're they're really nice coins. They're large dollars. You got your proofs and you got your silver proofs. A collection like this can teach you which ones are silver, which ones aren't, and you can weigh them up and and check it out for yourself. But there are some Eisenhower dollars that are very valuable, and we're going to take a look at those now. I do want to introduce everyone to the Ike Group website. All you have to do is go to the Ike Group, uh, do a Google search, click I agree to terms and continue to the website. I'll let you do that, but you need to get on that site. If you're interested in Eisenhower dollars, you most certainly need to get on that site and take a look at how to identify some of these varieties because this video is not going to be completely exhaustive in that terms. I'm going to show you what to look for. I do encourage you to do the work for yourself and do the research. You'll learn it better if you do it that way. Then if you think you found some or you have a question about Eisenhower dollars or you just want to discuss Eisenhower dollars, come over here to Facebook and join the Lincoln Central Ike Discussion Group. I've got a bunch of great members and Lincoln Central 
is has his own YouTube channel and very supportive of all YouTube channels. And I highly recommend his group on Facebook. So we're going to start with PCS Coin Facts. PCS Coin Facts has a really good resource. It will tell you exactly which Eisenhower dollars are worth the most in the condition grades, which would be like Mint State 67 or a proof in DCAM. You know what it needs to grade or what each coin needs to grade before they're worth sending off and submitting. But when you do that, you come over here and you can actually click the little plus sign and it will drop down. It will show you if there's any varieties or any special holders or anything like that that makes them worth more money. So that's what I did. And um, before we do that, I do want to introduce a photo type 1971S. I want you to come over here to the iGroup and read about this one. Okay. I'm not going to go into details about it, but I do want you to read it before you think you have one or you think you found one. You know, please read it in detail. It's a very good article. So then we're going to go to the 71D, which is a business strike. Your D and your no mint marks are business strikes. And it's called the Friendly Eagle. Now the Friendly Eagle is what they call a reverse design on the reverse. It's a different reverse design where the earth is round, uh, the eagle doesn't have a brow. There's a couple little things that you have to look for, actually a few things you have to look for. The I group lays it out in detail. And that's where you need to find out exactly what you need to look for. It's right here. It's the Friendly Eagle. And it'll tell you exactly what you're looking for when you're looking at this, uh, when you're trying to find this coin. Then you have the 1972, and this is the FS901. Okay, now this is the Type 2 Earth. And a lot of people, they get this confused because there are three types uh, to the Eisenhower dollar Earths. And this one here is the Type 2. Okay, it doesn't really have any islands. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one here that I have. See if we can get a good picture of it here. Here is the Type 2 Earth. Now... I guess it's not as good as an image, and it's kind of hard to see when it's in a holder. So it looks like a trench. That's what you want to look for. The Type 3, you also have that one for the 72, and here is an example. Let me see if I can open this up, and we're going to look at all three of them together. Now, this is PCS Coin Facts, okay? This shows you the type one it has like little islands and now they don't look exactly like this every single time because you might have dye wear and you might have circulation issues if the earth is damaged don't even try it just it's not even worth your time but this is what the type two looks like just no islands and it's not a very good looking uh, United States then you have the type three which is a little more defined islands and all that so the type two is worth the most the type three is worth the second and the type one is just pretty common pretty normal then you got the 71S over S silver. Okay, so what you're looking for here is, is the RPM. And you come over here and you can blow it up and take a look at it, get a closer look. It'll show you the S over S. I want to kind of go through here a little fast um, to kind of cover this because it's very important that you come over to PCS Coin Facts and look this up yourself. Very important to study these images and put your coin up to the, and you can download these on your computer. So this one here is what we call the peg leg. Now there's different versions of the peg leg, okay? When you're looking at these, um, this shows what it's supposed to look like and this shows what the peg leg looks like. There are different variations because it's basically dye polish and things like that where they, you know, mess with the dyes and different things. Um, you know, there's a little controversy on different things uh, to look for on this one. But the best thing to do, the Ike Dollar Group, literally covers this in detail. I mean, it's it's a lot of detail. So I, I encourage you to go to the Ike group and uh, do a little research on that again. I know I get a little redundant, but I want to remind people it's very important to try to learn this stuff yourself, uh, to look it up. Um, here you have a 71S, and it's a double die FS103. Then you have the 1971S, and this is the silver uh, version, the double die FS106. And this is where, this is the boxes they came in that you want to look for those. Anything that is a proof silver will come in this box. So that's very important. So what you're looking for is you're looking for a double die FS106. Next, you have the 1971S, and it's a double die reverse, which you call the DDR. It's a FS801. And this one here doesn't have an image of that, maybe in the deep cameo. Sometimes you have to go to that tab to find uh, a picture. That way you can kind of look at the reverse yourself and kind of study it out and try to match. Um, like I said, there's other online resources that you can look for to actually see if you have it. Uh, DCAM is Deep Cameo, and you've got Ultra Cameo, which is NGC. That's those designations. Uh, these do come in just Cameo, which would be a weak, frosty appearance on the coin. Um, sometimes it's hard to see that in these images, um, but you know 
there is a slight difference in the die finish. Then you have the 1971S DDO. And you know, like I said, this one, and I know that when it comes to some of these, uh, when you're looking at the proofs, there are a lot of really common uh, master die doubled. Um, and they're, they're so common, they're, they'll be a double die, but they're just too common to really mention or mess with. But you'll find some double dies, especially in the 73S's. It seems like I found a lot in the 73S's uh, proofs. Uh, here, you also have another 71S of the DDO. It's FS106. And like I said, each one of these varieties are double dies, but they're not all exactly the same. When you're looking at these, you're going to have to look at die marks and then the, how the double die was that struck the coin. And that's going to be the difference. The direction of the doubled, how uh, pronounced it is, how much of a spread it might be, and things like that. And what class a double die it is, is what I'm really getting at here. You need to know what class it is. So here's another. This is a 1971S, and this is a double die reverse. It's the 801. Then you have a 1972S, which is a double die FS101. And here's the deep cameo version of it. You can see how nice the cameo is on these coins. They are, you know, nice coins. Then you have the 1973S, and as I said, you're going to see a few double dies on this one, but this is the one that you want to be looking for. It's the FS101. Uh, That's the one that is going to be worth you know, a little bit of money. It's not worth a bunch, because you're going to see most of the time, these are going to grade in the 67 plus range, the 68. You can see how much they're worth. I really caught on yet. If people you know, started collecting like dollars more, you would see these increase in value because people, the demand would increase. And then, of course, you have the No S Type 2 Silver Proof. It's a 1976. And, you know, I know a lot of people think that because they have a 76, uh, it's a 1976 Eisenhower dollar without a mint mark, that they've got the uh, rare No S. It's not. It, it has to come. Um, like I said, it's got to be a proof. And there's only one of these known. And it's graded 66 worth $850,000. You know, you can look for it if you want to, <laughs> but uh, don't think that it's a business strike. It's going to definitely be a proof. And I just showed you what decam proofs look like. This one's toned a little bit, so the image is a little off, but yeah. So I showed you PCGS coin facts because if you're going to send uh, coins in the PCGS, those are the ones they're going to recognize for you. If you want to see every single uh, double die and RPM for the Eisenhower dollar series, then you need to come over here to Konica or Koneka, Variety Vista, and look up the Eisenhower dollars. And it, it doesn't have the images. There's probably some images on here um, if you look at it, uh, some of them. But if you look, you'll see that there are double die reverses, I mean, for 71D, 71S, and the 71D, and the 71 without a mint mark are your business strikes, like I told you before. And there are double dies for these. So there's a lot to be found. Um, you can scroll all the way down to 78S and you've got a double die. 78D, you have a double die. 78 plane, 77S. So you can come over here and you can take a look at that and, and you can actually you get your rolls up and you can take a look and try to find these. And then you have the R RPMs, okay? And we already covered the RPMs and pretty much um, the S, so they're in the proofs. But you know, if you want to look through some business strikes and uh, that's about all you have, if you look through your proof sets already, then you know, come over here to um, Konica Variety Vista. And here's the page that you want to go to. You can, as I said, those are the ones you want to look for. The 71S has a lot. The 71S proofs. There's a lot of these in here. And like I said, I didn't cover every little single thing that could be covered in the Eisenhower dollars. And you're a little limited in these videos. But, you know, hopefully this kind of opened your eyes a little bit to a few things to look for in the Eisenhower dollars. And thanks for watching my latest video. And have a great day.